Hey guys, uh, so in this video I am going to talk about my Cryo.do personal review and Cryo.do placements and my honest experience about the Cryo.do. So first I will start with my background. So I have studied mechanical engineering from a tier 3 uh, college uh, where I was struggling to uh, find the placements and I was uh, it was uh, hard for me to get a good job uh, after the graduation. So I was struggling. So after that I came across uh, Cryo where I saw that uh, I can uh, learn something by doing. So, so I have enrolled into QA automation uh, program in Cryo. So now I will talk about what I have learned in the Cryo program. Basically the skills and tools that uh, I have learned in the Cryo program. So basically I enrolled into QA automation program there. Uh, I have learned Java, then Selenium, then uh, all the automation testing related tools that are required for a QA engineer to get a good uh, job and a good salary that all the things are there in the course in a curated manner. So coming to the duration of cryo program. So the duration of cryo program is basically 9 months. So if you want to enroll into cryo program you have to commit at least nine months so but the placements will start before nine months on the sixth month or the fifth month it will start so basically in cryo there are uh, full stack backend and QA automation courses so all these uh, courses uh, time duration are almost same so now I am gonna show the portfolio that uh, I have got from the cryo so basically cryo will provide a good portfolio that you can showcase to your uh, recruiters your work you can showcase your projects so i am gonna show you that so your dashboard will look like this once you like uh, graduate and you can see the portfolio option here right so you can uh, click on portfolio here and you can like uh, there is an option of linkedin and whatsapp you can share your portfolio as a uh, LinkedIn post or you can share your portfolio as a WhatsApp status okay and you can also view it if you click on view your portfolio will open here so this one you can show to the recruiters right so here it will uh, show the number of DSA problems that you have solved uh, during your uh, time at cryo the number of uh, projects that you have done during your time in cryo and the skills that you have uh, achieved, right? The skills in the sense, the tools. For example, Selenium, Java, JUnit, Git, HTML, Apache, PY, TestNG, everything. And if you come down, it will show the section of my projects. Here you can see API testing projects. So basically, uh, it's like a Qtrip website. So it is a web application here. It's a travel booking website. So I have written scripts, uh, automation scripts in this uh, website. Oh, and coming down below there is a Qtrip QA uh, section. So it is also a web application. So uh, so, so I have written some scripts in this section as well. Uh, and there is a QCAD QA project. So in this, it is an e-commerce application actually. So we had to do automation testing in this website as well. Uh, there is another one that is QCALC. So QCALC is a uh, calculator that I have made using Java and OOPS concept. Okay. And there is something you can see that add demo links enable private github contribution. So if you want to show your code base right whatever code you have written. So basically in cryo you get uh, a local uh, uh, machine right. So you do your projects in this uh, local workspace and you have to push all your uh, code into uh, your github account okay. So you have to create a github account. And you have to push all your code into github account so this is my github account i have different repositories over here 
So I have uh, pulled the code in my local and I have pushed the code in my GitHub account. So after pushing, we have to copy the link here. Okay, so you have to copy the link here and you have to go to your portfolio and if you click here, you can add the links over here. Okay, so as you can see, I have added the links and when the recruiter wants to see the code base and all you can show the code for example this is a q card uh, project that i have done here i have uh, uh, written the test cases right so as you can see i have uh, the different uh, classes checkout page home page like the page object model and also i have the uh, test folder that QCAR test in G. So here different pages are there. Listener classes. So like that you can show to your recruiter, right? So this is all about the portfolio that you get uh, from the cryo. So you can explore it once you uh, complete it properly. Now I am going to talk about the placement that I have got from the cryo. So after completing six months and committing myself uh, six months, uh, I have been able to land a, a good job in uh, ShopDeck. So it's a product based company based in Bangalore. So I am placed as a Q automation engineer in that company with a decent high end package. Talking about the mentors, right? So the mentors are basically uh, good experienced uh, working professionals uh, they will teach you uh, with a good guidance and they are like having the uh, right knowledge right they are working in the industry currently so they have the knowledge of the uh, all the things that is going on in the industry right so they will teach you in a good manner and you will get some good uh, advice and guidance so you don't need to worry about the mentors there is one more thing that is free trial in cryo so if you are uh, hesitating to join cryo or need some time to take the decision to enroll into cryo course you can get a taste of the course uh, if you want to uh, join the course so you can attend free trial so basically the free trial is like uh, the mentors will uh, actually tell you about the cryo program how the sprints will go how the course curriculum will look like and they will you can attend some free classes and free uh, activities you can do so if you uh, like that one then only you can enroll so that option also you can choose thank you for watching this video you will get much more interesting video here subscribe my youtube channel and share it with your friends see you in the next video